Gaspacho is from Andalusia. Salmarejo is specifically from Cordoba. So the difference is, at first glance, it's thicker, it's more of a puree. Whereas gazpacho is just a cold soup, it's a vegetable soup, liquid tomatoes. Now. Okay. Small glass of extra virgin olive oil. Most important things, the best quality olive oil you can find, extra virgin, best tomatoes you can find. These are similar to RAF tomatoes. These ones are specifically from Navarra. Best tomatoes you can find. Whole garlic clove. Spain also has the best garlic. Look at that monster clove. Cumin. They say ground. I'm going to use it fresh because we're going to blend it anyway. Pinch of salt. Glass of water. Traditionally, they don't use vinegar, but I will show you why I will put in a little. Chop it all up together. Put it in the bowl. This particular recipe was calling for a kilo of breadcrumbs. You want bread from the day before. You know, a baguette like this. So, I'm going to use less than that. I'm going to use about this much and see how it goes. Here's why I like this knife. Great for taking out the sauce. Works for bread, it works for everything. Works for fish, works for veggies, works for meat. As you can see, I used a little bit more of the bread than I expected because it was a little softer than I expected. So a little bit more than I estimated, maybe more like 50% than 40%, which is still a lot less than the kilo that the recipe was calling for. Now this is key. After you've got it all chopped up with all everything in there, now you're going to want to, this is key, put it in the refrigerator overnight. This is key because this is an infusion the ingredients all infuse overnight with the olive oil. And this is why I like to add a little vinegar, maybe sherry vinegar or the next day to take it up, let it up. That's it. It's typically served with more bread, hard boiled egg, and jamon, Iberian ham. You might be able to find it at Trader Joe's. Regular prosciutto is not as high quality, but if that's all you can find, or none at all if you're vegan. This uh, jamon I decided to cut up into little sunbeams with kitchen shears because Salmorejo makes for a very healthy lunch in the summer.